Let's see how we can restore a user using the Active Directory Recycle Bin. I'm in Active Directory in Windows Server 2025. You can see that in my lower right-hand corner. It is the data center version, although this works on the standard version as well. So I'm first going to start out by creating a new user. So that user will just be called test, although I don't recommend that you do that yourself because that is something hackers will typically go after. And I'll put in the password and then I'll say it never expires next and finish. All right, so now I have this new user in Active Directory. But if I delete the user, how do I get the user back? Well, first you need to go in to Server Manager and then Tools and then go into Active Directory Administrative Center. Now, if you have multiple domain controllers, you have to make sure that all the domain controllers are on. Otherwise, you're going to get an error when you try to enable this. So I'm going to click on the domain itself and then go over to where it says Enable Recycle Bin. And it usually just takes a few seconds. Are you sure you want to do this because you can't undo it? And after a few more seconds, it should be done. Now, we should see a new folder in here called Deleted Items. And once that happens, then we'll be able to, there it is, deleted objects actually, then we'll be able to restore any deleted objects that we delete. So I'm going to delete this test user. I'll just choose delete, yes, and then I'll go to deleted objects, and there's my test user. Now I'm going to right click and choose restore. Now I can restore to a specific OU, or I can just choose to restore where it was before. Now I'm going to go back into Active Directory Users and Computers and hit refresh and my test user is back. So that is how you delete and restore using the Active Directory Recycle Bin in Windows Server 2025 and it also works in previous versions as well.